Walker Transit expands hours and services, early voting gets underway, and meet our Dispatcher of the Year, all ahead in this month's edition of Walker 180. Walker County government will expand transit operations later this month to include additional weekday hours and Saturday service. Beginning May 14th, Walker Transit will offer trips on Saturdays from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. Along with a new Saturday service, Walker Transit will offer extended weekday hours. Beginning May 16th, transit will run from 6 a.m. until 7 p.m. The expanded services are designed to make it more convenient for riders who need additional times to get to and from work, medical and personal care visits, or for shopping. Walker County recently recognized Holly Weber with the Teresa Parker Dispatcher of the Year Award. In addition, Weber received two life-saving commendations for talking callers through CPR over the phone, helping to save two lives. Early voting for the May 24th general primary election is now underway at the elections office at the courthouse in Lafayette and the Chickamauga Civic Center. Early voting is available at the times listed on your screen. Satellite locations in Rock Spring, Rossville, and Lookout Mountain will be available on Saturday, May 14th and run through May 20th. There is no early voting on Sundays. Did you know the John Ross House in Rossville was declared a National Historic Landmark in 1973? Only about 3% of locations listed on the country's National Register of Historic Places are recognized as National Historic Landmarks. Ross, who became the chief of the Cherokee Nation, lived in the house during the 1830s. Work recently got underway on repairs to Doherty Gap Road in the area where a landslide occurred late last year. The project will take six to ten weeks to complete. The Courthouse Annex 2 renovation project continues to take shape and those driving by the building in downtown Lafayette are now seeing a noticeable change. The old brick wall has been removed and replaced with a new concrete block wall. Once complete, Annex 2 will house juvenile court and some superior court functions. The Walker County Animal Shelter recently vaccinated hundreds of animals against contagious and deadly diseases. The shelter held two vaccination clinics, helping protect 236 dogs and 71 cats from parvovirus, distemper, and panleukopenia. In addition, 141 animals were microchipped. Walker County Farmers Market resumed seasonal operations this month. You can drop by the Ag Center for seasonal produce, beef, cheese, baked goods, gourmet mushrooms, jams, and other creations. The Farmers Market is open from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. every Wednesday and 9 a.m. until 1 p.m. on Saturdays. Well, that is a brief look at what's happening here in Walker County. Kudos to you for spending three minutes with us to get all caught up on what's happening. You can help us spread the word by liking this video and sharing it with your friends or family or leaving some feedback in the comments section. Take care of yourself and we'll see you again next month.